Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you some basic ray casting in Roblox Studio. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to create a couple of parts. And these parts are basically going to be like little sensors. Like kind of like a automatic door at like the grocery store. And I'll just put like these. Let's anchor them. Move them up and rotate them a little bit. Alright. And when we walk into these, uh, they're going to trigger something. So, I'll create a script called... Um, we'll call this... Raycasting. Okay. And we'll call local start point is equal to... And we'll name the green one start point and the other one, the red one, endpoint. And we'll set these to workspace dot start point and workspace dot endpoint. Okay? And then while we'll make a while loop, so while wait do. And we'll do workspace or local raycast equals workspace raycast. And now it's not as hard as you would think. Um, the origin is just where you want it to start at, where you want the raycast to be raycasting from. So that'd be the start point position. And the direction is you can do this whatever you want as long as you know what you're doing. But um, the simple way to do this is subtracting endpoint position uh, to the start point position. So whenever you do this it kinda just like points towards it it always does so this is good if you're making like a gun or something so now this will point towards the endpoint the start point will point towards the endpoint exactly and uh, whenever you move it it will always do that so I'll show you what I mean in a second um, so like it doesn't matter where you move it. Like it's a good way. It's a good thing to do. Anyways, um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do print raycast instance dot name, and we're gonna do if raycast. Then we do this because it'll just print a whole bunch of nothing. Okay, let's try this out. So it says endpoint right now. And then, as you can see, it says handle. That's because it's touching the accessory on me. Which is good, though, because that means it works perfectly. It works just as it should. So if we go over here, as you can see, it says it's working. All right. And now what we can do is we'll do local touching part equals to raycast dot instance and we'll do if touching part and touching part dot parent find first child humanoid then uh, we'll make like it'll be like a laser beam so we'll do touching part dot parent dot humanoid take damage actually we'll just set the health dot health is equal to actually you know even better we'll change the state to death there we go now right now it's not working because I think it's this right here that uh, health is equal to zero. Yeah. There we go, that worked. So we die. It's like a laser beam. It's pretty sick. And we die. Now the cool thing about this 
is that we're not even touching anything. It's just detecting us in it, which is pretty cool. Anyways, I know you guys are really here for. Let's make a gun. Let's delete those. Let's make a pretty simple gun. Now, guns really aren't hard to make in Roblox Studio whenever you come to the basics like this. So, I'm just going to make a pretty simple gun. Let's do this. And... Let's do that. <laughs> now, I know it's not the best, but it works. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a really efficient gun. Um, yeah, definitely. And that should be good. We'll just call this handle. We'll add this to a tool. Gun. And then we'll add a script to it. And a local script. And a remote event. Alright, so in the local script, uh, what we'll do is local player is equal game dot players dot local player and local mouse equals to player get mouse and then local tool actually local gun is equal to script dot parent gun dot equip connect function and there we go and what we'll do here is local holder is equal to gun dot parent and then if holder dot name is equal to player dot name then we'll do mouse or actually we'll just do local equipped equipped equals to true else equipped is equal to false so this will only work for the player that's using it. And then we'll local equip equals to false. And then down here we'll do mouse dot button one down connect function. If equipped then uh, then what we'll do is also down here we'll do gun dot unequipped connect function and we'll copy the same code all right and then if equipped down here what we're gonna do is gun dot remote event fire server mouse dot hit dot position all right and that's really all we're gonna have to do and then in this script Local gun is equal to script dot parent. Local remote event equals gun dot remote event. Remote event dot on server event connect function. Player mouse hit. And now we can start recasting. Okay. So what we'll do here is if player dot name is equal to gun dot parent dot name so we're checking if the player is the actual player and not just some random dude like exploiter or just a bug abuser whatever you want to call it but anyways that just is a simple check and now we can raycast so let's get the handle local handle equals gun dot handle and we'll do local raycast equals workspace raycast handle dot position and then mouse hit minus handle dot position okay and now it's only gonna shoot as far as the mouse goes so then we want to multiply this by the range I think or it's like I think we have to do unit or something like that uh, to get the range because I haven't really looked into this that much. Yeah, I think that that looks right. We'll do local range is equal to 300. Anyways, that should work. 
And then local hit part is you go to raycast dot instance. And then if hit part, then local humanoid is equal or actually local character is equal to hit part dot parrot. And local humanoid is equal to character find first child humanoid. Okay. And if humanoid, then humanoid take damage damage. And damage will be like 20. Alright. Now, we also want to print. So we'll print right here. Print hit part dot name. Let's try this out. Let's grab this gun. Oh, it's shooting us. And it works wherever you click. And it's shooting me too. So we know it works because I'm shooting at the spawn location and it's working. So, um, yeah, it works. But what we also have to do is if humanoid and if character dot name is not equal to player dot name, then or and humanoid, then that should work. And actually, instead of player dot name, uh, we should do holder dot name, gun dot uh, parent dot name. So now we shouldn't get shot. <laughs> so it's still like hitting us, but we're not getting shot. So that's good. Anyways, local ignore list is equal to enum dot raycasting and ignore list, I think. Or raycast filter type dot. Okay. So we'll do local filter type is equal to that. And local filter is equal to raycast parameters dot new. And then we'll do filter dot filter type. So you go to filter type. And then filter dot filter descendants instances is going to be equal to a new table. And the table will be player dot character. Or we'll just do gun dot parent. There we go. So that will ignore our player. So as you can see, if we shoot, actually it's still hitting us. So, um, maybe we'll just do gut dot parent. Try that. Okay, um, I think it's supposed to be a table. Let's filter descendants. Okay, is equal to gun dot parent. And that should be good. Okay, um, I think this will be blacklist, and we can just get rid of that. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. It was actually good how it was, but I forgot one thing. We have to add the raycast params right here. So it would, it would be the filter. Yeah, that's that was my, my bad, my bad. Anyways, we should be good now. So now if we try to shoot it, spawn location every time it works and when you shoot into the void that is an issue though so it says attempt to index nil with instance in, on line 17 so what we'll do is we can actually keep that there but we'll do 
if recast then so when it says attempt to index something with nil um, or attempt to index nil with that just means that the thing that you're trying to do dot whatever it doesn't exist so now if we try it should work yep it works and there we go so now let's add a couple zombies in to make sure it's an actual gun so let's just look up zombie zombu alright let's add this zombie in alright add a bunch in we're gonna kill some zombies we're gonna put this gun in starter pack and I'm also actually I'm gonna put this in workspace real quick and use tool grip editor to work on this I'm gonna fix the, how I'm holding it cuz right now I'm not holding it that well there we go that looks a little bit better oops and there we go that looks pretty good alright now let's add this to starter pack and press play alright we have a gun we have to shoot him kill him it works and we can easily make this gun automatic too by just opening an auto clicker or if you're smart like me and you know how to code we'll just do while wait do game dot workspace dot cast king dot gun I think that's what it's called yeah gun dot remote event fire server and then game dot workspace find for child drooling zombie dot head dot position and now now let's respawn and do it so now we have the gun sub on instance and vector 3 I'm such a nerd but um script 16 um well I guess the only way to actually make this good is just open up an auto clicker <laughs> and let's start this up don't wanna mess it up use my gun and well that was a let down alright well that just kinda messed me up oh it won't even let me start it Well, whatever. The gun works. Uh, that's the end of this video, guys. And that's the basic ray casting tutorial. Um, this can get you a lot of places, and it can help you make a lot of games. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.